Well, shoot. This planet's even more backwards than I expected. I can't find any leads anywhere. Nothing's popping up on my communicator either. Oh, well. I guess I'll go back to Arlia and figure out what to do next. What's everyone out here for? Ah, Mr. Kenny! Rain is in trouble! Raina? What happened to her? Mr. Kenny, do you know about the son of the mayor from the next town over? Yes, a little. Then I'll cut right to the chase. Alan has taken Reyna away by force. Taken her away? Where? I'm afraid to say this, but I believe he took her back to his mansion. He's one of Reyna's most overzealous suitors. I never thought he'd be the sort of man who would take things this far, however. Well, what are you standing here for? We've got to help her. I'm afraid things aren't that simple. Alan's the son of the mayor. He's one of the most powerful people in his hometown. We could face retaliation in one form or another. Not that I accuse the mayor of being such a base individual, of course. I'm merely saying that the possibility of such a thing is much greater than zero. Alan also has a gang of thugs to serve as his personal guard. I imagine he threw his money at all the local ruffians he could find. His gang all looked tremendously tough. If we tried to confront them head on, we would have no chance against them. But still! Something like this has never happened before. I'm at a loss as to what we could possibly do. Oh, Reyna. My Reyna. Then I'll go save her. Since I'm not from this village, my actions shouldn't have any effect on the rest of you. I'm just a random nobody who decided that Reyna could use some of my help. But Mr. Kenny, it would be too dangerous to try and take them on by yourself. I can and I will. I have my Sword of Light, remember? Just wait for me, all right? Don't worry. Mr. Kenny! Please save her. I need Reyna back. I know. I promise I'll get her back to you. Damn it, it's locked! Guess I'm blasting my way through. Sweet! Huh? Crap, my phase gun's almost out of energy. I'll need to lay off it for a while, but there's no turning back now!
What's that? This is Raina's hairpin. What's it doing in here? If Raina's hairpin was dropped in here, that could only mean one thing. Are you okay? Who did this to you? Uh, who are you? Hurry! He kidnapped Reyna! I'm Reyna's friend. Is she down this way? Reyna's been taken away. Deep inside the Salva Mines. Alan paid me to build this bizarre altar for him. I think he's set on taking her there. I tried to stop him, but he overpowered me. So he's inside there? Right. Be careful. Something's not right with Alan. All right. Wait here, okay? I'll come back for you once I find Raina. Sorry that I can't help. Be careful, everyone! Say that's worth 10 out of 10. Whoa! That's close enough. So you're out. Let Reyna go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reyna. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alan? Love with... Oh no!
Mr. Kenny! Damn it! This is bad. Be careful! Heal! Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. Ooh, great! Reina, are you alright? What happened to this guy, Reyna? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan... You were such a good person, too. Reyna... Why did this have to happen? Where am I? Huh? Reina, why are you here? What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Now let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. I did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Reyna!
Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Reyna's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Hmm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. That's just something that popped into my mind anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Ah, uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? The Sorcery Globe. As of now, the Sorcery Globe seems to be the only thing on this planet that has any connection to outer space. I don't have anything else that's even close to a lead right now. Knowing what I know now, it's hard to think of the Sorcery Globe as just a normal meteorite. Finding more about it could prove to be more valuable than I thought. All right, I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Raina! Raina! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Raina, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're gonna need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor, help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along if that's what she wants? Mayor! I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over, son.
Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Raina, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. What's the matter with her? Oh, well, <laughs> I can't have myself catch a cold out here. Back inside for me. And for you, too. Yes, sir. Would you join me for a little chat before bed? Sure. You know, when that girl volunteered to go with you, there was a part of me that knew she'd do exactly what she did. Why is that? Raina helped heal Alan's injuries, didn't she? Yeah. That healing power she has? Nobody else in the village has it. How do you mean? Allow me to be frank. Reyna is not Wester's real daughter. Wester found her inside the sacred forest. Reyna was only two years old then. Even I was genuinely surprised when Wester showed up with a toddler in tow. When Wester told everyone she'd raise the child as her own, nobody raised so much as a single objection. I suppose they felt sympathy for the couple, as they had never been blessed with a child of their own. Does Reyna know about this? No. She hasn't been told. I thought it was still too early. She could already say her own name when we found her. So we know for a fact that Reyna is her real name. Other than that, we have no idea where she came from. 
nor the reason she possesses the healing power that she has. In other words, everything about her is a total mystery to us. You don't have any clue at all? Her only possession was the pendant around her neck. But that does not give any insight about her past. There isn't anything aside from that. I had no idea. Ah, uh, look how late it is. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. I've already prepared the bed upstairs for you. So please. Please, take good care of Raina for me. I promise I will. Sounds like something's hitting the window. Is it coming from the balcony? Reina? What's wrong? I want to talk to you. Can you come down for a moment? I'll be right there. Huh? Where did the mayor go? Reina? Oh, there she is. So, what did you want to talk about at this hour? Well, I told my mother I'm going and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. A reason? What do you mean? My mom. She's not my real mother. I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. What am I supposed to do? Please, keep your voice down. We wouldn't want Reyna to hear us. That girl's passed out on her bed, now that she's finally had enough of crying for her dead father. I am sure this is just as much a shock for you as it is for her. But you are her mother. You need to stay calm for her sake. Stay calm? How am I supposed to stay calm? My husband is dead. Wester. Without him, what am I... What am I going to do? I still haven't told her yet. Now that he's gone, I'll have to tell her all by myself. 
Can you imagine having to tell your daughter that she's not your real child? I knew I should have thrown away that damn pendant. Why didn't I get rid of the last connection to her real parents? She would have been mine, my real daughter. So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. But the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant... I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... Good night. Take care of Raina for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Raina. When I say hello again, right? Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Raina? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. Wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. He will certainly welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the king pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. <laughs>